Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. We are on day five here on Lapis Lakeside for this rough week. Before we jump into it, I do want to ask a question. I've run into another um, bug or glitch, maybe some sort of issue, and I wanted to see if it's just me or if you guys are running into this, too. It seems to happen since the last update every now and then. It's not every time when I boot up the game instead of loading and then telling me tap anywhere to start. It just sits with an empty loading bar and never starts to load and I have to close the program and relaunch it. Not that big a deal. I'm just curious if anybody else is running into that. So if you are, let me know in the comments down below and let's go ahead and jump straight into this. We have our little sneak peek that we're going to get a 100, but we are also going to get 11,488 sneaky snacking. We're going to get five apples, which we also desperately need. And then there's our 100 sleep points, which puts us at 2,409. And we can grab our daily lottery while we are in the area. If I can click on the button. And that gives us a small ingredient ticket. Very nice. Okay. We will need those probably come Sunday. <laughs> and now that all of that is out of the way, let's go ahead and jump straight. Oh, that was a misclick. Gengar, you were just in the wrong place, but that is one skill trigger and quite a lot, but we're going to leave that there. I'm going to pick that up later. Let's jump straight into the sleep report, which is what I meant to click on. Session 223. And that should be about 8 hours and 32 minutes, exactly what I needed. Mm, I didn't wake up at 8.29, I actually slept till about 8.50, but this game's weird sometimes. I guess my alarm was going off too frequently that the game thought I was awake. Anyway, that is 11% dozing, 35% snoozing, and 54% slumbering. So that's going to be a slumbering type. Yes, slumbering type sleep. Which does mean we can actually see something a little bit different in Lapis. I think most of our sleeps have been dozing or snoozing outside of one or two balanced. But with 27.287 million... That ought to be a pretty good sleep uh, report. We do have six spawns, one that's in a top belly. Interesting. What could that be? Ha! <laughs> An adorable a top belly Togepi that looks like it's kind of nervous about falling off. All right. So we do see a Pichu that showed up, which we did see yesterday. Two Pichus. Okay, that's pretty good. Um. So we've got two Pichus, a Swablu, a Why Not, a Togepi, a whole bunch of baby Pokemon, and then one new one. That is... Ooh, new Stuffle. Okay. We do also need a, another Stuffle. The, uh, the one that we caught originally doesn't seem like it's going to be as good as I had uh, hoped. So we do need to try to find another one. We need a double corn Stuffle is really what we need. So let's see if anyone is going to be hungry. With any luck, there's Pichu and Stuffle will be hungry, but Togepi, Swablu. I mean, we do need a better Swablu too. Um, okay, so... Hmm. This is actually an interesting dilemma. Do we take the Swablu? because it's hungry and get a guaranteed catch and also put that at friendship level 10 for the future or I think the stuffle is actually the biggest priority out of all of this simply because we need a better corn gatherer and this is going to be the best one that we can get so the stuffle should be our priority today, honestly. And as much as I want to save these biscuits, I think it's worthwhile to try to take it home today. Come on. There we go. I think it's worthwhile to take this home today if we can. Given how much this will help in general. Of course it's full. Of course it's full. We didn't use any regular biscuits yesterday for Pichu. I don't think we should use any more biscuits today either. I don't think we should change. Um, no great biscuits at all. Yeah, I think we just uh, go home empty handed today. It is unfortunate, but that is the way it is sometimes. 
especially as a free player. You can't always get what you want and you can't always go home with a new friend. So we're just going to go ahead and wrap it up. We'll send out some Stuffle Candy to help everybody out. And we will walk away with 1,406 research XP, probably going to level up tomorrow, 2,477 Dream Shards. So that's pretty good. And then maybe we will uh, see an icon. I kind of been spoiled a little bit on what that icon means, but I actually forgot for a brief moment. We do have new news. The event, Ryko Research, new arrival. Yep, new arrival Raikou. All right, let's start with the oldest news and move our way up. It seems the legendary Pokemon Raikou has been spotted near Greengrass Isle. It may be possible to encounter it during sleep research soon. Okay, so we're Greengrass, it's looking like. Also, Raikou's main skill is a new one, Helper Boost Electric. Mmm, we hope you're looking forward to this. Okay, so what does that do? Appearing beginning March 25th. So it does line up with good sleep day. Uh, again, it's event research and it's gonna be different from our normal sleep research. So they may not overlap as much as uh, I had originally thought, but let's see what this works out to. Uh, Ryko incense can be used starting from the date and time above. Appearing at green grass aisle only, seemingly, Ryko may still appear during regular sleep research even after the Ryko research event ends, but extremely rarely. And its sleep type is going to be under snoozing. The main skill, Helper Boost Electric. Your team of helpers, including Ryko, will instantly gather a bonus amount of berries and ingredients based on the number of different species of electric type Pokemon on your team and the level of the Helper Boost Electric skill. Hmm. That seems like it could be very good in a very specific situation, but maybe not necessarily super useful in general. Like you would have to build your team around it specifically. It also will be very good once we get an island with electric uh, for the berries, the, uh, what is it, grappa berries? I think that uh, electric brings in. So if we get in, once we get an island for the grappa berries, then it will also be very beneficial. The more different species of electric type Pokemon on your team, the greater the effect of this skill. So specifically different species. So a bunch of Raichu doesn't seem like it would help. Uh, the following are examples of different teams of Pokemon eligible for this benefit. Example one, a team with five different species of electric type Pokemon, Raikou, or Raikou, Raikou, Raichu, Dedenne, Jolteon, Ampharos. A team with four different species of electric type Pokemon, two Raichu, Jolteon, Ampharos. Yeah, so exactly what I was saying, that if you have a team of four Raichu and a Raikou, it's not going to help. Uh, you'll only get credit for two. Um, okay, cool. Oh, okay, but different members of the same evolutionary line count, which makes sense because they are technically different species. So Raichu, Pikachu, Pichu, Jolton, Jolteon, and Raikou would work. Okay, multiplication example, if Raikou's main skill, Helper Boost Electric, is level 6 and there is a team of 5 different species of electric type Pokemon, you instantly get times 11. Okay, so seemingly additive? Or maybe that's just the way it worked out this time? Uh, the usual help from all Pokemon on your team, including Raikou. This is because main skill level 6 yields a base value of 5, plus a bonus of six based on the number of different species of electric Pokemon on your team. So it is additive and it did also just work out that way. Fun. The special Pikachu that appears when you link your Pokemon Go Plus Plus does not count towards this main skill. Uh, because Raikou is a special Pokemon, you can have only one Raikou on your team. Interesting. Yeah, they're getting into exactly what I was about to speculate about. It's possible to befriend more than one special Pokemon, but you cannot have more than one special Pokemon on the same team. For all special Pokemon, the first befriended special Pokemon's nature and subskills are identical for all researchers. Ooh. So every one of it, if I'm reading this right and understanding it correctly is more what I should get at. If I am understanding this correctly, all of us that catch Raikou, the very first Raikou we all catch will have the exact same natures and subskills. For all special Pokemon, the first befriended special Pokemon's nature and subskills are identical for all researchers. Yeah, I think that's correct. So we will all get the exact same Raikou the first time around, which makes me wonder if it's going to be 
guaranteed to be good. Like if it's going to be maybe not the best, but pretty good. And there is a better combination out there. Maybe we'll all get, for example, like an 80% Ryko or something. That's kind of interesting. If I understood that correctly, which I'm still not convinced that I did. The event Ryko research. So hopefully this will break down how the event works. Uh, repeated peals of thunder have been heard over a certain area of Greengrass Isle. Follow-up research in the area revealed bits of Ryko main that Ryko left behind. According to Professor Narrowly, he'll be able to conduct research into Ryko's sleep habits if you collect lots of Ryko main samples during your sleep research. You can trade these Ryko main samples via the event exchange for new items, Ryko incense and Ryko biscuits. Oh, Biscuits are new to help you see Ryko's sleep styles. The Ryko research event lasts from 4 a.m. on Monday, March 25th, until 4 a.m. Monday, April 8th. So that's that's a full two weeks. Okay, so we got a full two weeks of Ryko research. That's good, so we're not just trying to scramble for one week. The legendary Pokemon Ryko will appear during sleep research for the first time, and this two-week event is a special opportunity to concentrate on researching it. During this event, you can collect samples of Ryko main to exchange via the event exchange for items. Ryko incense and biscuits, we already talked about that. You can use the incense to research Ryko's various sleep styles. Note, event even without Ryko re incense, Ryko may appear during sleep research, but extremely rarely. Okay, so you don't absolutely have to have the incense during the event. It can show up, but it's going to be not likely. For researchers who would like to befriend Ryko, we recommend using Ryko biscuits, which are specialized for use with Ryko only. Also, electric type helper Pokemon will be particularly helpful during this event. And then just a list of all the electric types that we have. In addition, you'll be able to encounter Pokemon of different sleep types, regardless of your own. The event pseudo balanced sleep um, and then certain Pokemon in particular will have a greater electric Pokemon in particular will have a greater appearance rate. During this event, you'll be able to take on two sets of limited time missions, just like with the, um, oh, what was it? Uh, the Lapis event that we had two different weeks of missions. Um, week one, Monday, March 25th to April 8th. And then week two, April 1st to April 8th. Uh, the event exchange, the exchange period goes from March 25th until Thursday, April 11th. So you have a couple days after the event ends to exchange your missions and the shop. This is a shop. Oh no, this is just for the event exchange shop. Never mind. So you have a few days after the event ends to exchange the Ryko main in the shop. For the following items Ryko incense, Ryko biscuits, main skill seeds, thunderstones, and more. Oh, so if you've got a very good Ryko and you don't want to trade in your mains for biscuits and incense, you can get other stuff. Very interesting. Also, a few Ryko Incense and Ryko Biscuits will be added at a slightly lower exchange rate in the second week of the event. Keep an eye out for these during the last stretch of the event. What is the Ryko Incense? Uh, if you set this on the stump, labeled Incense next to your tent, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you can have up to one in your... Oh, you can't stock them up. You can only get one at a time. So you have to buy it, use it, buy another one. You can't buy two of them. Incense that you have set still count as being in your bags item pocket until it's consumed during sleep research. Okay. Can be used starting Monday, March 25th at 3 p.m. Uh, can also be used after the event has ended. You just won't be able to buy any more after that. Ryko biscuits can be used during sleep research within the event period and only with Ryko. One Ryko biscuit increases Ryko's friendship points by six. So if it shows up hungry and you use one, that's 18 points guaranteed, which probably won't be enough to catch it. I'm assuming it's going to be somewhere around 24 friendship points to catch it. Somewhere around there. And then after the event exchange closes, any Ryko biscuits that you have will be automatically converted into great biscuits. Interesting. So possibly a cheap way to get some extra great biscuits if you just have a bunch of Ryko main left over. That's something you could do with it. Uh, during the event, Ryko will leave behind bits of its main, which you can collect as samples. You can check to see how many samples you have at the event exchange. Uh, samples don't take up space in your item pocket. Also good. After the event ends, you can still trade samples of Ryko main until the event exchange closes. Once the exchange period ends, any remaining samples of Ryko main will be lost. How to get samples of Ryko main? Uh, the sleep research on Greengrass Isle. This is the main way you can get samples of Ryko main. 
You can get them during one sleep research session per day. So naps don't count, only your main, well, only your first sleep session. Which I suppose if that's a nap, then naps do count. Uh, you cannot get any during the second sleep research of the day. The number of samples of Rykomane you can get depends on the species of Pokemon and the sleep styles you find them in. Mm, so it does pay to get as many uh, species and sleep styles as possible in your research to get more Rykomane. So having that good sleep day on Monday is actually going to be very beneficial to give a good boost to Rykomane early on. Electric type Pokemon that you research will give you a greater number of samples of Rykomane. Limited time missions, you can get samples of Rykomane by completing the missions. Uh, Ryko Research Bundles Volume 1 and Last Chance Bundles Volume 1. Please see news about the bundles that will be posted at a later date for details. Good to know. Research Community, in rare cases you can get samples of Rykomane from other researchers in your research community who are participating in the same event. The higher your closeness with each, each researcher, the more likely you are to receive samples of Rykomane from them through research community. So this is a good reason to have a bunch of level 5 friends. So to everybody that's been wondering if it's beneficial to keep level 5 friends or to rotate them out and get the level up rewards, this I'm not saying this is the definitive you should keep level 5 friends, but this is another reason to do so. So if you make sure to take that into consideration when you're deciding if you want to swap out for lower levels and get the level up rewards or if you want to keep your high level friends the following limited time special gift will be distributed only to those who cannot participate in the research community okay so this is people who don't have access to research community due to uh age limitations in the game i think if you're a minor it doesn't let you do community research so you can't add friends a limited time special gift will receive 50 samples of Ryko main at the beginning of the first week and at the beginning of the second week. So you get 100 free samples of Ryko main. That's cool. As long as you log in before April 9th. Uh, if your gift has not yet arrived, please restart the app and then check the gift box. How to progress in the event, simply sleep on Greengrass Isle. Um, duh, duh, duh. Yep, can only be triggered on Greengrass Isle. Uh, bonuses. This is a very healthy event is what it's looking like. Each time an electric type helper Pokemon brings you ingredients, it will have one extra. That's pretty good. The chance of an electric type helper Pokemon's main skill being triggered will be multiplied by 1.5. Snorlax on green grass will have guaranteed Greppa berries, which is the electric type set as one of its favorite berries. A few Pokemon of different sleep style sleep types will appear the pseudo balanced sleep that we get for events uh and then certain pokemon will be more likely to appear during sleep research which is all of the electric types uh raiko pikachu raichu jolteon pichu mareep flaffy ampharos and dedenne uh which actually with that 1.5 times multiplier on skill triggers dedenne is going to be really good to have a decent one there for those extra tasty meals since our uh, sleep research results determine the amount of Ryko main we get that could be really good for just really bumping up into the ranks may even be worth using a good camp ticket that week so keep that in mind moving forward that maybe that's a good time for it or both weeks if you have the, the ability to do a good camp ticket on both weeks during the event, the following Pokemon are more likely to appear. All of the electric types, we just talked about that slightly greater appearance rate. Oh, even Raikou. Even Raikou has a slightly greater appearance rate from its normal, extremely rare. Uh, notes about the Raikou research event. Each day, oh, whoa, 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 chill out. Each day of the Raikou research event rolls over at 4 a.m. Event bonuses apply to sleep data tracked on Greengrass Isle. So only on Greengrass will all be there for that week at least the first one. After the event ends, Raikou may still appear during sleep research conducted on Greengrass Isle, but extremely rarely, they're really hammering that home. Raikou incense can still be used after the event has ended. Because Raikou is a special Pokemon, you can only have one on your team. It's possible to befriend more than one special Pokemon, but cannot have more than one special Pokemon on the same team. For all special Pokemon, the first befriended special Pokemon's nature and sub-skills are identical for all researchers. Event bonuses apply only to sleep tracking that begins within the event period. Typical stuff, if you wait to report sleep data, okay, all the rest of it is just typical event stuff, not specific to the Raikou event. 
All right, so that was a lot. I feel like we just spent about 45 minutes reading and I need a quick drink uh, while we back out to the other menu. Which actually, before we go all the way back, we do have some diamonds to collect. I forgot about, I made a new dish yesterday. The Fury Attack Salad, I think is what it was called. Where did it go? Uh, yes, Fury Attack Corn Salad. Went ahead and made that yesterday. We had the ingredients for it. I figured since we're already past the great one that we really wanted to check and see, might as well just make a couple of new salads. Not really focusing on making new salads, but if we can, then why not? All right, we did get 42 community reports with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten that doubled up. All right. Anybody wanting to level up to level five today? That'd be really good before Raiko gets here. We did get a level two. Only the one level two for another small ingredient ticket. That is good, though. I do need some of those. I'm really hoping that we get a good recipe type on green grass, which actually those easy tickets on green grass will be a very good thing uh, if you don't get the right recipes, because I'm pretty sure that those easy travel tickets also reset the recipe type that Snorlax wants for the week. But let's go ahead and actually collect from you right now, Gengar. You did get a skill trigger. Good job. And then Toxicroak, can you make it two for two? You can. There we go. All right, and then where is my other one? I did collect a couple of berries from you and Primeape yesterday just to push us into grade five. Wasn't enough for a skill trigger. Didn't figure it would be, but it's worth it to check. And because of all that reading, we actually missed breakfast today. So we're just going straight to lunch. And let's see what we are gonna make today. Spore mushroom salad is what looks like is on the menu. Um, yes, yes it is. And then let's see, let's go ahead and fill it out with some honey because we're getting plenty of that from Venusaur. Enough to cover our uh, extra that we need to fill the pot. And hopefully we can get a decent return on this. Mm, no extra tasty, which funny enough, I got extra tasty on that Fury Attack corn salad. Go figure, just making it for the diamonds and get extra tasty on that one. All right, that is enough to push us to level 30 on the Spore Mushroom Salad. Not gonna be enough for Ultra 1, though, I don't believe. Be very shocked if it is. Yeah, not even gonna be close. It's gonna put us about half, right about halfway to Ultra 1. So even though we're not making great progress on Lapis, we are above the Great One, which is all we need for Dedenne to start showing up. It is better if we could get higher ranks, but at the end of the day, as long as Dedenne can show up, that's ultimately what matters. It would be best if we could push into the guaranteed eight spawns per sleep research, just to really maximize our chances of running into a Dedenne. But all in all, it's not bad. Um, I'm still on the fence if we're going to be coming back to Lapis for Dedenne. There are things to consider, but so far it's really just going to be waiting to see how things actually look at the end of the week to really determine if it's going to be worth coming back for Dedenne here. Ultra 2 is looking like it might be possible. Ultra 3 I think we could get if it's if we get lucky. And if we stop missing breakfast because there's too much news to read. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be interesting and probably won't decide if we're coming back for Dedenne until Sunday night. So yeah, that um, that's pretty much going to wrap it up there. Not anything else to do. We had a ton of news to cover. So um, I know some of you like these longer episodes. Uh, you will be happy with that. But speaking of the news, there's a lot. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this uh, event research and how it's going to be conducted. If you're excited for it, if you think it's a good thing, if you're eager to see how they apply different kinds of research to other special special Pokemon and just in general, let me know your thoughts. But that is all I've got for today. So thank you for watching the video. Make sure to hit that like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And until next time, later, dudes.